wonderful for me to be back home after a long trip. However, my voice is not very good today, but I would be sad if I couldn't tell you the story. So I will try, and hope you will try too. If you see I'm not as good as usual. So, Toto Chan has spent the first lunch time at the new school. A meal was filled with joy, excitement, laughter, discoveries, and most importantly, a sense of happiness in enjoying her meal. A love for what she ate. We Vietnamese have a saying, "Áo vải cơm rau." which means to choose a basic closure to wear and to eat simply as with rice and vegetables. The idea is almost the same as what the headmaster told the parents in Toto Chan about preparing meals for their children. No need to be fussy, just keep it in simple. Make sure the meal has enough nutrition. In áo vải cơm rau, the clothes are simple but clean enough nice enough and warm enough and the meal is also enough to get a pleasant taste and be full and healthy because what many affects your appetite to eat is not primarily in what you taste but who you eat with whether you are happy and interested in enjoying your meal it is also the atmosphere of the meal A meal full of expensive dishes and elaborately prepared but quietly alone cannot be compared to a simple one but full of joy and laughter. Such things can usually only be obtained when the children go to school. Now that we are back, let us continue with Toto Chan to discover other beautiful things after lunch. School walks. After lunch, Toto Chan played on the school grounds with the other before returning to the classroom where the teacher awaited them. You all work hard this morning, she said. So, what could you like to do this afternoon? Before Toto Chan could even begin to think about what she wanted to do, there was an anonymous shout A walk! All right, said the teacher. And the children all began rushing to the doors and dashing out. Toto Chan used to go for walks with Daddy and Rocky, but she had never heard of a school walk and was a start. However, she loved walks, so she could hardly wait. As Toto Chan was to find out later, if they walked hard in the morning and complete all the tasks the teacher had list on the blackboard. They were generally allowed to go for a walk in the afternoon. It was the same whether you were in the first grade or in the sixth grade. Out of the gate, they went all nine first grade pupils with their teacher in their midst and began walking along the edge of a stream. Both stream banks were lined with large cherry trees that had only recently been in full bloom. Fields of yellow burst of flowers straight as far as the eyes could see, and the stream has long since disappeared. The apartment buildings and stores now crowded the area, but in those days, Jiyuaoka was primarily fierce. We go as far as Kuhanbasu Temple, said the girl with the rabbit on her pinafore dress. Her name was Sako Chan. We saw a snake by the pond there last time, said Sako-chan, and that was all well in the temple grounds with the teller shooting star fell into ones. Children darted away about anything they liked as they walked along. The sky was blue and the air was filled with butterflies fluttering. After they had walked for about 10 minutes, the teacher stopped. She pointed to some yellow flowers and said, Look at these myrtle flowers. Do you know why flowers bloom? She explained Mr. and statements while the children crouched by the road and examined the flowers. The teacher told them how butterflies help the flowers bloom, and indeed, the butterflies seem very busy helping. Then the teacher set off again. So the children stopped inspecting the flowers and stood up too. Someone said, They don't look like a pistol. 
Do they? Tô Tô Chan didn't think so either. But like the other children, she was sure pictures and statements were very important. After they had walked for about more than 10 minutes, a thickly wooded park came into view. It surrounded a temple called Gihon Basu. As they entered the grounds, the children scattered in various directions. Want to see the children style well? asked the Saku chan. And naturally, Toto chan agreed and ran after her. The well looked as if it was made of stone and came up to the chest. It had a wooden lid. They lifted the lid and peered in. It was pitch dark and Toto chan could see something like a lump of concrete or stone, but nothing resembling the twinkling star she had imagined. After staring inside for a long time, she asked, Have you seen the star? Saku-chan shook her head. No, never. Tutu-chan wondered why it didn't shine. After thinking about it for a while, she said, Maybe it's asleep. Opening her big brown eyes even wider, Saku-chan asked, Do stars sleep? I think they must sleep in the daytime and wake up at night and shine said Toto Chan quickly because she wasn't really sure. Then the children gathered together and walked around the temple grounds. They laughed at the bare bellies of the two Deva kings that stood on either side of the gate, guarding the temple, and gazed with awe at the statue of Buddha in the semi-darkness of the main hall. They placed their feet in the great footprint in the stone said to have been made by a tangu, a long-nosed goblin. They strolled around upon, calling out, Hello! to the people in the rowboats. And they played hopscotch to their heart's content with the glossy black pebbles around the graves. Everything was new to Toto Chan as she greeted it, discovery with an exciting shout. It's time to go back, said the teacher, as the sun began to dip, and the children set off for the school along the road between the mustard blossoms and the cherry trees. Little did the children realize then that these walks, a time of freedom and play for them, were in reality precious lessons in science, history, and biology. Toto Chan had already made friends with all the children and felt she had known them for all her life. Let's go for a walk again tomorrow, she shouted to them all of the way. Yes, let's, yes, let's, they shouted back, hopping and skipping. The butterflies were still going busily about their business, and the song of birds filled the air. Toto Chan hearts were bursting with joy. I only read one chapter today because in this chapter, many interesting details are worth informing the questions for you. For example, what are the pictures and statements? What do they look like and where are they located in the flowers? How do they work? And how can the butterflies help flowers bloom? Or, as what the teacher asked the children, why the flower bloom? What is a shooting star? How does such stars fall into a well? And so on. Let my little angel take time to recall, think, and find the answers in the right places. Now, that's the end of today's story time. I wish my angel a good night's sleep and see you again next time. Thank you.